Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is on this makeup look right here. I wanted to do something very simple but very vogue. So we're doing some soft smoky lashes with some dewy skin and full brows. So if you want to see how to get this very glamorous simple vogue look then just keep on watching. So starting off for my eyebrows, I'll be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and mine is in medium brown. Um, I chose this one because this one's a little bit lighter, a little bit softer, and I am literally just going to make small little strokes with this. I won't draw any harsh, stiff lines because I do want to keep this very soft, very natural looking. So I'm going in the same direction as my hair grows, so that way I'm not drawing a line across the bottom and it looks like small little hairs. So I did that all the way across the one eyebrow and we're moving over to this other eyebrow and doing the same thing, keeping it thicker in the back area of the eyebrow and a little bit thinner in the front area because we want the um, attention to go that direction. And also combing through them to blend the product. Then I will be going over top of that with my L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper. I love this because it makes my eyebrows very full. It helps them hold in place and it tones them the same color as the product. So I am just brushing everything up and outwards to where they look very fluffy, very full, and very undone if that makes sense so i want to keep these very vogue i feel like full luscious bushy eyebrows are really in but we're not making them too bushy because we're going to go back in with the bottom um, of them and clean that up with some concealer and i like to use my maybelline master conceal for this it matches my foundation really well so it looks um, even and blended and not quite so harsh so i'm just cleaning up the bottom edge with that concealer we won't do anything to the top because I want to keep that nice and fluffy like I said before um, and I'm actually going to go back in with the brow gel a little bit later just to touch them up after we finish the rest of our face. Then to prime my eyes I'll be going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Pink Pot and I'll just be buffing this onto my eyelids to help even out my skin tone and cover up any veins that I have. Love me. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm going to take this nice skin tone color and just set all over my lid to my brow bone. Now for my eye socket, I'm going to be using my Milk Chocolate Bronzer by Too Faced. And I chose this one because this is what I'm going to be using on my face because I want to add the same definition to my eyes, but I don't want it to look like I have eyeshadow on. I just want to give my eyes a little bit more depth to where they stand out just a little bit more. And for eyeliner today, I'm going to be going in with my Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in brown. And I'm just going to be lining my tight line with this and creating a soft little wing. And then I'm going to go about half of the way across my eyelid and I'm just going to have that descend down and we'll blend that out in just a second and make it nice and seamless and smoky and I'm just using an angled brush from Wet n Wild to do this. I like this eyeliner because it does smudge out very nicely but it doesn't um, run on my face anywhere so it's pretty simple, pretty easy to work with and then I'm just going to clean up the very edge of that with some concealer that we used on our eyebrows earlier. Then for lashes, I'm going to be using my Eyelor Lashes in 202, I believe. I'll double check and put the name in the description box for you guys. And then before, while those are getting tacky, I'm going to be using my um, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I like to use this to prime my lashes to where the lashes and fake lashes blend um, really nicely. And I think this is a very natural mascara. So then moving on to the face, I'll be priming my face with my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. And this one is for sensitive skin. Um, I like to use this because it makes my skin very tacky. You guys know I use this all the time. 
And yes, I know I have a lot of redness in my face. We about to fix that. And for foundation today, I'll be using my L'Oreal Lumi foundation. I love this foundation. I feel like it is very sheer, but it does color correct what I need it to. So for instance, it helps a lot with my redness, but my freckles still show through, and I love that about this foundation. And you guys know that this is the lightest shade that they have in their line, because you know that's how I have to roll. And for concealer, I'll be using the same one that I used earlier, the Maybelline Master Conceal, and I'm just putting this down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and underneath my eyes just to brighten everything up and conceal my dark circles, because you know we don't need any of that. <laughs> And then to set all that, I'll be using my Ben Nye Colorless Luxury Powder. I love this, especially just for right underneath the eyes because it helps my concealer not to crease. And it's also very light, which is very hard to find a powder. It is light enough for me that's not colorless, so we just go the colorless route. I'm kind of sort of baking with this, but not really, so I'm tapping it in and then wiping away any extra. Then I'm not setting the rest of my face, which is kind of weird for me, but I'm going in with my milk chocolate bronzer that we used earlier, and I'm just going to be using a big fluffy brush from Real Techniques. This is their blush brush, and I'm doing this in the hollows of my cheek area along my jawline, and I'm kind of just blending it out. I want to make it nice and soft, but still keep definition in my face. And then I'll be using my Luminoso blush from Milani, and I'm putting this a little bit more like I would a bronzer on my cheeks. So I'm putting it a little bit lower to help lift um, my eyes a little bit more. And then for highlighter today, I'm gonna be using my Liquid Opal Becca highlighter and I'm just gonna be blending this out with my finger. I wanted this to be nice and soft but still have that same dewiness to it. That's why I went with a liquid. I didn't want it to be quite so intense and I'm doing this on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose. I did this a little bit on my cupid's bow and I'm going in with a little brush and I'm putting this just below my eyebrow. And I've been obsessed with this highlighter, guys. Obsessed. Then I'm going back in with my brow gel and just touching up my eyebrows um, because they sometimes get messed up when you do foundation and such. This is just gonna help add that extra layer of fullness to them and help them hold even better than they would have before. Then for lower lash mascara, I'm using my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara just because this one I find does not flake underneath my eyes as bad as other ones will. And this one's also a lot lighter, so it helps separate my lashes a little bit better without clumping. I like the brush on this one too, a lot better. And for lips, I'm gonna be using my MAC Velvet Teddy, uh, I almost said liquid lipstick, it's not a liquid. It's just their basic lipstick. And I like to apply this with a brush. I feel like I get a lot more precise application with it. Um, so I just put it on my lips and just fix it up with a brush. This is one of my favorite nudes. You guys need to try this if you haven't already. And then I'm going over top of that with my Anastasia lip gloss. And I can't remember the name of this. I think it's Kristen. But I'll put in the name in the description box for you guys. And I love this lip gloss. It makes them nice and juicy. And then to set my face, I'll be using my Mario Badescu Rose Water. And that finishes it off for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as comment down below what else you guys want to see. Check out my previous video on my skincare routine. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. I think you guys will like it a lot, so make sure to check that out. And then follow me on all of my social media. I have all the names and links in the description box down below for you guys. So make sure to check all those out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!